Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim subject is advanced corporate finance and today lecture is on convertible security in today lecture we will discuss convertible securities anti dilution in convertible securities mean how investor take a step to avoid dilution in the value of convertible securities conversion value premium over conversion value what are the issues in convertible securities use of convertible securities and financing convertible security a bond or preferred stock that is converted into specified number of share of common stock at the option of the holder it's called convertible security because the com um, this type of asset have specific um, certain type of uh, characteristic for example these are straight away preferred stock that will receive uh, or it will be a debenture or it will be any bond but these these are securities financial security who will receives interest each year uh, but at certain time or certain after certain period the holder will have option to convert the security into a common stock so this option of conversion make this financial security a convertible security otherwise if this option is not available o oh, for option then convertible secure uh, then these securities will be straight away bond or straight away preferred stock but this uh, option of the holder that it can be converted into a common stock it is basically make them a convertible security so they will take interest each year just like common bond or dividend just like a preferred share shares but after a certain period of time is stipulated in the contract these um, securities are converted into a common stock so this way it is called convertible security what it uh, provides to the holder it provides to the uh, this provide the convertible holder a fixed return interest or dividend and the option to exchange the bond or preferred stock for a common stock it provide the holder holder means the person who buy this type of security and hold them he will receive what interest and dividend interest on bond if the, the security is bond and dividend is on uh, preferred stock dividend small p stands for preferred stock so but beside these two things that the investor or the holder receiving he would have a option at hand that he may convert these uh, security into a common stock is discuss earlier the option is Uh, the option allow the company to sell convertible securities at lower yield than it would have to pay a straight bond or on preferred stock what is the benefit benefit for the company that because of this option that are available in these convertible securities provides opportunity to the company to sell these convertible security at lower yield means this convertible security might have Uh, their interest rate is bet lower than uh, the straight line bond so this interest or this uh, interest or this dividend will be less than uh, or probably less than the straight away bond or the straight away or the straight preferred stock who have which have not convertible option so because of this convertible option the investor will Uh, be agree to to buy it or to purchase it uh, this convertible security at a better uh, and, and and agree to a lower return or lower dividend because the convertible security have an option in this option uh, turn into uh, uh, turn into more benefit or more more return 
convertible security we will discuss certain um, terms that is conversion price the price per share at which the common stock will exchange for convertible security it is equal to the face value of convertible security divided by a conversion ratio this conversion ratio is basically finalized at the start or at the issuance of this convertible security let's suppose there is a bond and company issue it at this time the conversion ratio is let's suppose that uh, we will um, change it to three stock three shares or two shares or one shares it is one way that conversion ratio have been decided first or it is uh, it, the issue is the company finalizes that we will uh, the bond will be buy or exchange with the shares then that share would have price let's suppose 30 rupees so one way is that that this conversion price have been finalized these are two way if this is finalized then we calculate this one if if this ratio is finalized at the issuance, we will calculate this one. Now, a conversion ratio again, we can calculate the conversion ratio from this two type, this two uh, two variables, the number of share of stock into which convertible security can be converted. Ratio is basically in number of share as I discussed earlier. It may be two, one, two, three, but these are finalized with the investor at the time of issuance. And two convert in which convert it is equal to the face value of convertible security divided by conversion price. Maybe it can be calculated um, of the conversion price. So depends on the terms of reference of this convertible security at the time of issuance by the company or corporations. This is an example, uh, it will clear the, the concept that let's suppose ACF Limited issuing 8% $100 par value preferred stock. They are issuing preferred stock now, but these preferred stock will be converted to um, converted to common stock and the security is conversion price this price has been finalized at the time of uh, issuance $30 per share will be the conversion price if the, let's suppose ACF limited share each share will be first uh, first they will say that the share price will be considered 30 and then we will convert these uh, preferred stock into common stock on that 30 dollar what is the conversion ratio since 100 dollar per value divided by 30 dollar conversion ratio so one preferred stock will be converted to three point three shares 3.3 .3 shares this is conversion ratio or maybe this conversion ratio have been finalized and then um, given to this preferred stockholder then we will be easy to calculate the price but oftenly conversion price are finalized with the investors anti-dilution and anti-convertible uh, securities so this conversion price is mentioned earlier that the corporation um, mentioned in the start of the issuance with that the, the investors uh, are not necessarily be constant over time because the bond have uh, life of 1 to 20 year or 1 to 15 year 1 to 10 year but this price conversion price are not 
not necessarily be constant over time it would be changed example as let's suppose that conversion price is 20 uh, price and 20 year convertible date setup over a time is in previous example was 30 during the first five year if anybody want to convert it bond in the five first five year he will the bond will be converted into in a third 30 dollar 35 for the next year if anybody fail to convert it bond in a first five year in the next five year the conversion price will be 35 and 40 for the remaining 10 years until the maturity let's suppose if nobody was willing to convert the um, to convert to convert uh, the bond uh, in first 10 year then the bond will be converted at a 40 dollar after first uh, 10 year in the next 10 year or the last year of until the maturity the conversion price is usually adjusted to any stock splits or stock dividend obviously uh, if the stock dividend have been issued or stock split have been issued so then the price will be adjusted accordingly to protect the convertible bond holder from anti-dilutions so known as anti-dilution class this class is basically inserted when the corporation issuing issuing its bond at the time of issuance oh, issuance so that is anti-dilution class is necessary in convertible securities conversion value this conversion value is on the basis of uh, market value or share price market value the value of the convertible securities in terms of common stock into which security can be converted at that prevailing time it is equal to the conversion ratio time multiplied by what market price per share this ratio is easily calculated and this price market price is necessary uh, and will be available from the stock exchange quotation for example if the market value per share of the common stock and acf limited is 42 then conversion value is 3.3 is a conversion ratio currently this share is trading on 45 140 is per share is a of preferred stock is 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 is, is the conversion value so premium over conversion value if this is basically we are calculating on the conversion ratio but this preferred stock would have would have would also have uh, their value on any uh, organized stock exchanges this preferred stock also trade in secondary market so it would have some market value so this market value and the difference of conversion value uh, if there is any difference it is called a premium over conversion value if there is a premium people will not start converting their uh, shares into uh, common stock the market price uh, premium over conversion is market price of the convertible securities means that is either it is a preferred stock or bond its value in the market minus its conversion value also called conversion premium if there is any premium on the marketable securities people will not or investor will not be ready to convert it into a common stock for example if the market value per share uh, of the preferred stock in of acf limited is 154 dollar per share then the conversion premium is 154 minus 140 that is calculated in earlier that is conversion value 14 dollar is a premium per share of preferred stock so nobody will be willing to convert these these preferred stock into common stock because there is still 14 dollar premium to them why they would uh, prefer to get or uh, to receive 140 dollar and give them a preferred share
convertible securities other issues is virtually all convertible security that is another issue in the uh, convertible security provide for a call price this call price is also there in the term of the agreement which allows the company to force conversion if this call price is available the net provides the option and allow the company legally to force conversion means they will call back their securities and will pay the market um, value to 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 the uh, investors if the market value is significantly uh, sorry they will not pay a market value they will pay a call price which have been mentioned in the uh securities terms and condition so when the market value is significantly above it is trading so high in the market then the company can call back their uh securities which way which is not in the benefit of uh, investor but in the benefit of the company almost all convertible bond issues are subordinate to other creditors means the claim of these convertible bond come after all uh, debt have been uh, repaid or settled but it is not subordinate to preferred stock or common shares or common stock which allows lender to treat convertible is a part of equity base so if any lender uh, is considering to lend to the company who have, who have issued already a convertible securities these convertible securities are treated as equity not as a debt because finally these will be converted into equity which evaluating the financial condition of the issuer if somebody is evaluating the balance sheet of this issuer uh mean the corporation who issued these convertible securities let's suppose if acf is uh, balance sheet is somebody issue um, evaluating what they will evaluate if they are evaluating the equity sides of the company they will first see what are common stock what is preferred stock what are debt what are convertible securities cun so these convertible securities are treated when when someone is assessing the financial health of the company is treated as 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 uh, base of the equity the potential dilution effect is recognized by investor who evaluate earning based on diluted earning per share the potential dilution effect is recognized because if these let's suppose these convertible securities is converted into common stock so common stock base will increase when common stock base is increase its earning per share will tend to be reduce earning per share is basically calculated as um, net income in i divided by total share outstanding if this total share increases obviously earning per share will decrease it's called diluted earning per shares so after assessing the financial position it will also be uh, will also be uh, considered use of convertible security in financing in many cases convertible securities are employed as deferred common stock financing basically these are common stock but it is deferred it will be issued somewhere later and the company enjoy the financing right now that is one of the benefit that's why it's using in a financing 
does not immediately dilute in earnings. So these convertible security do not dilute right now the earning per share of the company. So company will prefer to issue a convertible stock. The securities are converted at higher price than if they would have been directly issued. This is the impact of reducing the dilution effect. So when they are converting uh, these securities, it will be at higher prices. When the company have higher prices, so what will happen? There will be less chances on the dilution of the uh, dilution of the value of convertible securities. Second is uh, interest or dividend rate is likely to be less than of the state debt or preferred stock. The greater the growth prospects of the firm common stock, the lower the stated rate the firm may need to pay. Why? Because the investor invested uh, in these convertible uh, bond or convertible preferred stock with the hope that, that it will be converted into common stock somewhere later. So this common stock is basically uh, uh, is, 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 is an attractive or incentives to currently agreed on less uh, rate, uh, less interest rate or less dividend rate. So the dividend or the interest rate on the converted convertible security is bit low because the option is available if the company grow uh, if, if a company grows uh, with the higher rate then then these investors will be well off by by converted these uh, com convertible security into a common stock. This is all about today lecture. Thank you.